All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to find viruses or any weird thing going on on your computer using the command prompt. Uh, I think I'm just gonna start posting some technology stuff since <sighs> banned from comp, dude. Banned from CSGO comp. Um, now, uh, it, this isn't really hard to do. You just have to have, like, kind of just, like, common sense, really. You just need common sense. Um, so just come over here and then type in the command prompt. And then you just want to run as administrator. And once you run as administrator, it's going to bring up these, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the fucking... Thing. So you just want to type in netstat and then space and then slash n b and then f and then it's gonna bring up all these uh, uh, you know uh, things that's going on on your system. So it will show all these IP addresses and the other IP addresses it's going to. Um, so all this stuff is uh, just applications that I have running, um, Chrome, and then the Xbox Game Bar, Steam, uh, the NVIDIA app. So you wouldn't really, if you had a infected system, um, you would have odd applications running, and you would have uh, unrecognizable IP addresses you know the good thing is or something you should do before you you know do anything on your computer is run this command and then see what kind of IPs you're running and then you know you could write them down or put them in notepad and then next time you run this command and you and you look at the IP address list you could pull out that note notepad or note file and see if there's anything out the ordinary and then you can go ahead and end that application in the task manager um so there's you know it like if you saw a application just running that's out of the ordinary you know, you know I have nothing here that I don't recognize so that's that's good um, so yeah, um, just another thing, established, when you're looking at lists like this, um, established means it's on your computer, it's rooted in your computer, um, most of the time that's gonna be the, uh, virus, or malware, or whatever you have on your computer, it's gonna be one of these, it's gonna say established most of the time, cause it's, you know, rooted in your actual system, uh, the next one is netstat, and then minus, and then A and O. Now this is going to bring up a lot more. Um, this is going to bring up a lot more uh, addresses. Now these right here, or you could say these two. Um, this is this is your computer talking to itself. So these aren't um, these aren't actual like external apps running. These are your internal system files to, uh, talking to itself. Um, as you can see, the uh, these are other ones, the established. So how you can use this command to find viruses is you look at the PID number, and so let's say you. Uh, see a weird app or a weird a weird IP that's running that's established. You you look at the PID and you say okay fourteen thousand fourteen five zero eight right. Then you pull up Task Manager and then you go to and then you start from process and then you go into details. Is it details? <laughs> uh, yes, it's details. All right, so. This part's a little difficult because you have to find the exact number. Uh, but you find 14508. All right. So 14508 is my NVIDIA helper. 
So obviously that's not um, a virus because uh, it's a trusted app. Um, so basically you would find a PID that looks kind of sketchy and you would say, okay, I don't recognize this. Pull up task manager. Oh, you would pull up task manager and you would go down, find the PID and say, um, oh, I don't know this app. So you just click the app and then you'd end the task and it would end it fully. Now, some viruses um, can hide and I'm not a super big cybersecurity person, so I wouldn't really, I don't, I wouldn't know how to get rid of that. I don't think you could get rid of that. Um, but you know, it's just some things, uh, there's, there's just some things you can't avoid. And you know sometimes they're easily avoidable, uh, just watching what you download and all kind of stuff like that. Now you could use this to find viruses because it's telling. It, this is basically showing what's on your internet, and viruses or malware based not like modern viruses and malware. They don't ruin your system. They just take your data and give it to third third-party companies um, so usually they'll you'll the uh, file will root itself into the computer and then it will just take your data from there uh, and then and then it sends it over to uh, it sends it over somewhere to whatever data data center they have so it goes from your address or your computer to their IP and that's where you find the foreign IPs or foreign PIDs and you can end the task from there so it's not sending any packets or data. Um, another way is I mean antiviruses they're okay for the most part um, I mean Windows Defender is okay for a free one I mean def definitely if you're not willing to pay for an antivirus then I would totally use Windows Defender because it it pretty much it doesn't let you download anything that's like suspicious so like if you click download and it's something weird it's gonna stop that download and yeah, I think that's a good thing because what if you like accidentally click something and then your computer is just filled with all this random crap that you don't need. Um, I use Malwarebytes, which I think is really good. Um, Malwarebytes kind of it kind of stops you from going to any website, like any weird website. So if it sees you're going to like some sketch some sketch website it'll stop you from going through that website anyway um, th this was kinda just like kind of a short video explaining uh, how viruses work nowadays and how you can see them in your system uh,